Hi, it's Matthew from eWater Innovation here to share some of the great new features appearing in Music Version 4. The bioretention node has been completely rewritten and now offers more accurate modelling of flow as well as water quality treatment. The treatment algorithms in the bioretention filter media are based on the latest research from the Facility for Advanced Water Biofiltration. The new node includes sophisticated predictions of water flow and treatment, taking into account factors such as evapotranspiration and its effects on soil moisture as well as the design of the system. For example, filter media type and composition, choice of vegetation and so on. A new media filtration node has been written which allows systems such as sand filters and granular filter media systems to be easily modelled. The treatment algorithms can be user edited to allow device specific data to be entered. In music version 3, infiltration was only modelled through the base. The infiltration node has been modified in version 4 to allow infiltration through the sides of the system as well. This provides a much more realistic prediction of infiltration in the system. All graphing and statistics can now be undertaken at a user-specified time step. For example, after running a model with 6 minute time steps, you can choose to view daily results when looking at the graphs and analysis. A new node water balance feature tells the user exactly how much water flowed into and out of a node through all its various outlet components, including exfiltration and evapotranspiration. It also tells the user how much stormwater was demanded and the amount of that demand which was satisfied. This makes analysing the performance of stormwater harvesting strategies much easier than in previous versions of music. There's a new CSTR assistant. This great new feature helps you determine the appropriate number of continuously stirred tank reactors that should be used to represent the system you're modelling based on the shape of the system. Stormwater reuse demand can now be turned off automatically whenever there is rainfall and a user-specified reuse time series can be imported, making music much more flexible and powerful for analysing stormwater harvesting strategies. The life cycle cost algorithms have been modified to allow maintenance in the last year, as well as to allow elevated maintenance costs over the first few years of a treatment device. A notes facility has also been incorporated to the life cycle cost specification window to allow the user to record assumptions made when developing the life cycle cost estimates for a particular treatment node. You can find further information at music.ewater.com.au or by contacting us on 1300 5 water.